one character that I've always wanted to try in Elden Ring is Aizen, and to be honest, I didn't know if it was possible to even gauge that amount of strength that he has into the game, and doing the hypnosis is pretty difficult, but it is possible, and I tried my very, very best to do it, and I think I did it pretty decently. This build ended up being pretty damn strong, so stick around. For the build, I wanted to do a gravity slash sleep mechanic build to replace the hypnosis. Sleep is pretty underrated and I wanted to try it out. That being said, like the Gojo build, I wanted to make this very very overpowered because Aizen is a, let's be honest, a broken character in terms of strength. So I started off in New Game Plus, late game New Game Plus. Real quick though, I just made my very first Instagram so I'd really appreciate if you follow it. I'm going to be posting memes sneak peeks to future builds, polls maybe, and just overall personal life stuff, so please follow that. Also, subscribe. Only like 10% of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed, so I would really appreciate that. So, the first thing I did was change my character's face. I saw a bunch of comments how I said communion as cominium. I don't know why I said cominium. I just didn't read it properly, and I was just like, screw it. And, um, yeah, you guys grilled the shit out of me for that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. This is my formal apology. After my formal apology about my terrible, terrible wrongdoings, I decided to do Ranny's questline because the alpha we need for this build actually requires us to get pretty far into the questline. While I ride Mr. Torrent down this hill, I want to tell you guys about our today's sponsor, which also happens to be the greatest mobile game ever. Raid Shadow Legends, baby! Raid's got a ton of champions, over 600, each coming from their respective factions, and my personal favorite faction, the High Elves, because of their backstory. They survived and defeated an orc horde, helped human civilization, and then they were forced to turn against their own kingdom, nearly ending their race entirely. And now, they're thriving better than ever. So awesome. One of my favorite elves, Patera Rhymehide, your guide to getting through the Hydra and Doom Tower. He can veil your team, increase their defense, and put out block debuffs, helping a lot with certain Hydra combinations. They're bringing out five badass looking new champions, overhauling the champion's vault. There's a ton going on in Raid this month, like the huge series of Summer Splash events, where you can get your hands on some awesome skins for everyone's favorite dwarf, Trunda. Raid's also running a special Deliana chase event where you can get your hands on Deliana, a legendary champion, for free. All you have to do is log in, play Raid for 7 days between now and July 28th, and boom, you get her. Also, enter the code MYDELIANA and get 50 XP boost to instantly get Deliana to max level. This is the best time to get started into Raid and if you click the link down below or scan this QR code, you'll get bonuses worth $30. You'll get an epic champion Vergus for free, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 xp boost, and 1 ancient shard. Everything will be available for you here. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. After getting the carrion statue thing and then flipping the study hall, I went back to Rena's Rise where we finally get our armor. Oh hell yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, we could probably finish this quest line. I need that- uh, I need something of Astel's anyways. So we kind of have Aizen's robe done here. Uh, I'm going to change the pants, don't worry. Um, but yeah, now I need to figure out what spells I'm going to get. As I just mentioned, I went to finish Rani's questline because there was an item that this Estelle drops that I needed. And I went and defeated him. Urgh! Stupid eye! Oh my god, that did no damage. He's going to grab me! He's going to grab me! Oh... Fuck you. Boom. That's what I needed, baby. Imagine I can't put it on my sword. Of course. Of course. I can't I can't even put it on here. I need a strength weapon. After defeating Astel, I mean I admit I did unsheath spam a little bit, but I only did it because I didn't have my other items, copium. After that I made my way into Kalid where I would be getting our first sleep weapon. So this sword. It has an Ash of War called Miss of Slumber, and it pretty much makes people fall asleep. Does it work on him? Hey! Sleep! Yeah, night-night, bitch! Wait, you could- It's basically a stance break? No way! I did not know that! Why don't people use sleep more often? Wow, dude. That is actually crazy. I did not know it was that good. 
Maybe we could put Bloodhound Step on the Uchi Katana because Aizen, like, he phases in and out of shit, so. I then went to get a few more spells. I went and fought Astel again in the winter area, but I'm not going to show you that because you already saw the Astel fight already. Then I went and got my last spell. Oh, what the hell? There's a secret room here? There we go. Wait, what's up there? How am I still finding secret shit? I, I I'm a terrible explorer. I, I'm just I'm just bad at playing open world games. So the reason we're doing this for his Seto, I think Seto is the name, instead of Commodazorus, because I used Commodazor in the last video and I didn't want to reuse it. I, I I don't know. Just I don't like reusing items that I've already used. Purely because it just feels repetitive for me, and it probably feels repetitive for you guys. And with that, my build was complete, and I was ready. I made my way into the snow field, where I came across Okina. Oh, look, it's this old geezer who thinks he can fight me. Eh, eh, eh. Stupid-ass Rivers of Blood user. Okay, the Rivers of Blood user is strong. Auto number 63. Auto number 90. Yeah, Yamamoto. What are you gonna do, Yamamoto? Yamamoto looking ass. It was mar it was part of my plan for you to hit me there. Insignificant. You think you could really beat me? Yeah, I'll take your stupid mask. But in Fair Missoula is where the real fun starts. Or real hell, let's be honest. As I just said, I was scared to go to Fair Missoula. I don't really have a good history, especially when it comes to bosses like the Godskin Duo and Malekith. But, we move. We do have a very strong build after all, right? But yeah, as I mentioned, I made my way to Fair Missoula, and then we get to the Godskin Shitters. No! What am I doing, man? Oh my god, I accidentally clicked the left trigger. Oh. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the one where I don't fall. I honestly swear to you, I am not doing this on purpose. I'm just this bad. Take this! Okay, I'm already getting annoyed. I'm already getting annoyed. I'm already getting annoyed. I need to make him sleep. Take that. Take that. Take this. Oh, no, no. My first attempt at the Godskin Duo did not go as smooth as I wanted to. I actually wanted to first try this guy because I think that would have been a awesome way to do this fight, but that didn't happen. And um, I died a lot and I mean a lot, but after tons of failures, I finally figured out the sleep mechanic and I beat them. Oh, I got him, I got him. Sleep. Sleep, yes! <laughs> now take this. Oh! That did not hit a single one of them. Oh, my fuck. I don't know when to hit, man. Well, like, oh, I hate these guys so much. I cannot stand this boss. Sleep, bitch. Yes. Ah! <laughs> yes. Take that. No! Ugh. That was part of my plan. I meant to die there. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. I'm having trouble, like, figuring out what spells to use and what spells not to use. Like, what's, like, the best combination? What should I be using? And, like, that is kind of a weird thing that I did not think I would have a problem with. So, my solution to this problem is I'm going to spam them. Now you, while your brother, brother sleeps, I've got some beef with him. When did the foul ass wake up? Bro, he doesn't stop attacking. He legitimately doesn't. All right, all right, that was, that was good, that was good, that was good. Now it's this freak's turn. Hey, 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 over here, over here, sir, over here. Okay, okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Ooh, what's up, Chainsaw Man? Chill out. Nice, okay. The reason I didn't... 
That's what I wanted to do, baby. Take this! Take this! Yes! Nice! Nice! No! Yes! Fuck you! Oh my god, that was so perfect! That was so perfect! That was so perfectly done! Oh my god, that was crazy! Dude, did you see that shit? I took like no damage in the beginning. I was ducking and weaving past through him. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god, that was awesome. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Dude, that was so cool. That was so fun. Yes, dude. Yes. That's why that's why we play Elden Ring right there. Just to absolutely destroy the Godskin duo. After my triumphant defeat, I wasted no time and made my way straight to Malekith, but unfortunately this is kind of where the sleep mechanic really ends because I tried to sleep Malekith, I tried many 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 times and it just didn't work. I don't know if sleep only works on certain enemies, I don't really, still don't really understand how the, the whole thing works, but I tried to do Malekith and it didn't work, but we still had a whole arsenal to fight him with, so that's what we used. I just thought you would be able to sleep Clergy, man. I, I'm pretty sure, like, Malekith himself, you definitely can't sleep. But, um, Clergy, man, I thought you would be able to, for sure. Auto number 63! <laughs> I'm gonna do a full meteor here. That was good damage, boys. Take that. Malekith time. I'm scared. And I was right to be scared. Fuck. I have Bloodhound Step. I could have gotten out of that, man. That's so fucking annoying. All right, at least we're making it to Malekith more often. Oh! Yes! Come on! Go to get out of here! Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, look at my health. I literally have to make this a perfect run. Oh my god, no way! Yeah! Bam this shit! Yeah! Yeah! Dude, that was a damage! Oh, that was a good one. After dying to Malekith multiple, multiple, multiple times, I was finally figuring out the strategy for this boss. Using my Rock Sling ability, as well as my Meteorite and my Cero, would give this insane amount of damage. Also, Rock Sling really easily stance breaks boss, which I didn't know until fighting this. But, after utilizing all these different things, I finally beat Malekith. Screw it, just go in. I was gonna do Meteorite of Astel, but I couldn't get to it fast enough. He gave me a lot of breathing room, which is good. Okay, he's giving me no breathing room, which is bad. Take this! Yes! Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait! What happens? What happens? What happens? No. 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 No! No! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! Please! No way! No!
Oh, what the hell is that shit? Why is that a mechanic? That move was. D oh, I'm so done. Oh my god. Ah! What the hell, man? Yep. I actually died after the boss was defeated. Another after animation. There is there has been this problem for a while where if a boss activates a move and it dies, the move still happens afterwards. It felt like a grenade was thrown after I killed my opponent in an FPS shooter. Th this was the worst thing that could have happened. After this, I was fighting him for another two hours until I finally defeated him. But I'm not going to re-show you the whole fight because it's pretty much the same thing. Yes! Finally, man! God damn, what a stupid boss. Yeah, you're gonna kill me on my on my winning what again? Fucking hell. So stupid, bro. That's all I needed to survive for was that remembrance, and I would have been fine. That is just After suffering for hours beating Malekith, I finally got to the Ashen Capital. And then I went to fight Godfrey. Take a little bit of that. Oh god, I forgot him. Bro, I literally do no damage. Holy shit. No way. We stance broke the bitch. Oh my god, I'm literally jumping in my seat right now, bro. I hate this phase. No! Please survive, please survive, please survive. Oh, I survived, I survived, okay. No! Okay, we survived, we survived, we survived, we survived. No, I'm dead. This is pretty much my Elden Ring Godfrey experience. I destroy his first phase because it's very easy, and then second phase comes and I run around and hope I can hit him. But yeah, after a bit of death, I finally beat him. I mean, to be honest though, the second phase is the most unlike Aizen phase you could get from me, but cut me some slack. I don't know how else to fight him. Why does it go that way, man? No! Oh. Why does it butt on that way? I'm so pissed, man. Oh, I'm so mad, man. You know, like, it's so stupid. I hate that phase. I actually think that's the worst phase in the entire game. It is so stupid to deal with. It is so stupid, man. So planning this video out, I was like, oh, I'm going to stay calm and collected, just like Aizen. He never really rages. Until, like, the end, I'm pretty sure. And that plan went to shit real quick. Thought you were gonna stomp, you fat ass. Come on. I mean, he's not really fat. He's just extremely buff, but... That's a bad idea. Oh my god, I, I almost just started shedding a tear there. Such a prick. After finally defeating Godfrey, it was time for the final boss of Elden Ring. And that's where I went next. And um, after a few hours of struggling, I finally beat him. Do you think you can sleep Radagon? I'm gonna try and sleep him. Oh, okay. All right, we're doing good. Ow! Nice, okay, Radagon time. No flasks, you think we could do it? Take this! Aizen's ultimate move! 
Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. That wasn't a good start. Bloodhound step for the win. What are you supposed to do there? Someone please explain to me what on God's green earth am I supposed to do when I am being blinded like that? But the meteorite when I get in is so insane. This shit was fun. Alright, alright, I can do this. I can do this. I, I, I'm getting closer to beating him. I can feel it. Okay, okay, this is the one that's going to be hard to dodge. This is our, our biggest obstacle yet. No! Why? Bloodhound, step again! Why are you making me go there, man? Take this, you stupid prick. Come on now. Come down, friend. Oh, that's so bullshit. Four flasks for the final phase? Even less, man. Yeah, th there's no way I do it here, but... I don't know what just happened. Did you just see that shit? Take a few of these, bitch. Oh my god. Not this. Please, anything but this. Take some rocks, boy. Okay, run, 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 run. Come on! <laughs> Fuck you! Yes! Oh my god. That was so stressful. So skay eyes and boys. That was all part of the plan. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. Oh my god, one hour and 44 minutes to do that. Alright, so this is the full build. So we got the Keen Uchi Katana with Bloodhound Step. We got the Sword of St. Trina, which is the Sleep. Uh, I'm using God Slayer Seal, Meteorite Staff, Snow Witch Robe, and Traveling Maiden Boots. You can also use the Skirt or these or um, Viridian Amber Medallion. I would put, personally, I would replace this with the Earth Tree Favor 2. I just didn't get it. Radagon Sword Seal, Graven Mask Talisman, Rotwing Insignia. And for spells, we're going to be using the Collapsing Stars. Frozen Armament, it's kind of my replacement for the Sophoric Grease. Because I didn't have any left. Rock Sling. Comet. Also Meteorite of Astel. Briars of Punishment. And Lightning Strike. Now we beat the game. But I also wanted to test this build against some PvP. As I've been doing recently. It's been a lot of fun. And it really shows the build in another perspective. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Alright Bigness. Let's do this. Oh that's a big weapon. <laughs> Whoa. Take that? Oh. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, that's pretty sick. No! Take that! Oh, that is too- No, no! Oh! Holy shit, those things are intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh! You the it lagged! I- oh. GG. Well, oh, I think that would have one-tapped me, bro. Yes, at least one of them hit you. Oh, that did no damage. What the? Oh! Oh, shit, I accidentally used two heals. You can use another one if you want. I'll chase you! What happens if everyone busted skill? Alright, look who's talking.
It literally, you literally teleport. <gasps> what? You literally teleport. <laughs> you would. Oh! <laughs> you just got clapped. Okay, I will summon you soon. I need to win. This guy humiliated me in my other video. Yes! What? Yes! Yeah, yeah. Da na na na. You were just running towards me because you were hypnotized. <laughs> you, and just... you see, my friend who had the big hammers was actually at the end of the game near where I was fighting Godfrey. So me and my other friend decided to go help him as a trio, and we completely shredded the last two bosses. And I thought I would just throw it in there. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck you. None of them hit him. Look at the damage! I don't even see Alright, I'm gonna spam, I'm gonna spam. Go, 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 everyone, everyone, go! Go, go, go! Oh! This guy's got nothing on us! I told you! Someone stagger him! Nice. I'm chilling in the back. You just need to survive, man! I haven't used this- Let's do it, dude! Let's do the final- <laughs> Come on, hit him, please! Hit the meteors, come on! That's so cringe! I hate how you can't control it. Oh, oh, good damage at the end there, though. This might be towards me. Nope. Steppa. Poor Steppa. Okay, I'm gonna try and bait the star. I'm gonna try and bait the star. Get away, get away. Everyone get away. Come on, boys. Finish it, finish it. Take the risk, take the risk! Fuck you! Shit face! Shit face! Did you see that combo wombo at the end there though? Sheesh! And with that, that is the Aizen build. Pretty good build. Um, not as overpowered as I wanted it to be, but I think if you use the spells right, get the right stuff, it would be hella good. Let me know if you enjoyed that little segment with my friends doing those two bosses. Maybe we could do a seamless co-op anime trio type thing. Let me know if you want to see that. Leave a comment down below for that. Sorry about the audio issues with their voices being pretty quiet. I'll fix that for next time. If you did go on to enjoy, like, subscribe, join my Discord, please. Follow my Instagram. And I'll see you next week with, actually, another Elden Ring video. We're going to be trying something a little bit different for this one. So stick around for that.